Hi, Chris from My Stamp Lady. And if you have this envelope punch board, you can make this gorgeous gift card holder. So stay tuned. You're going to see how to make this. A typical gift card measures three and three eighths by two and an eighth. So that means I need the three by, uh, I'm sorry, two and a half by three and a half size envelope. So that means I start with a five and a half by five and a half piece of designer paper, which I've done here, and I start at two and three eighths inch. So line up my edge, two and three eighths inch at, on this side, punch, score, and now we don't need to use this ruler over here anymore. So now we're just going to this line. There we go. You're going to line up your scored line with the score guide, Let's punch, and repeat all the way around. Okay, then you can pick up your punch board and use the other side to make the ends round. Look at that. There you go. This is amazing. If you don't have this board, you need it. I just absolutely love it. So now you come in and you just fold all of those score lines use the little scoring tool that comes with the board and normally you would be um, gluing these down to make the envelope or this way actually this time we're just going to leave okay, them so open. I have a two and a half by three and three quarters inch piece of whisper white cardstock that I'm going to put in here I rounded the corners with the back side of the punch board so the first thing I'm going to do is stamp this and this is just where I'm going to put um, my greeting. You can also sign it. You can do whatever you want here. So let's stamp that with that snowflake. Island Indigo with the small snowflake. And because the new inks stay wet so much longer, I really encourage you to use your embossing body to make sure that the um, embossing powder does not stick to where you don't want it to not be. So with the Versamark, ink up my Merry Christmas. Pull in my silver embossing powder. Go. And just sprinkle that over the Merry Christmas. And now we'll heat set. Okay, there you go. It's heat set. It's all ready to be put inside. I'm just going to stick that inside there. And place that right in there. So when the person opens up their little card, they're going to have something pretty inside. And then at this point, you would put your card inside there. And let's shut that up. And then to make it stay shut, I don't want to glue it. You could if you wanted. But I'm going to take this inch by eight and a half inch piece of cardstock. I'm just going to take it and put it in about the center here. I'm just going to fold that over, fold it over. You want to make sure it's not super tight because you want to be able to slip it on and off. So let's just give that a fold. Okay. There we go. Take a mini glue dot. Put it on the end here and put that down. Okay, so here is my little covering. But yep, I'm going to put that in the front. Slide that on. And then I've made, this is exactly like the snowflake um, embellishment that I made for my cones that I made for the paper cones. I have a video about that. So it's just using the festive flurries with the um, festive flurry dies to cut out and layer snowflakes. And mount that on top. Look at that. You have a gorgeous, gorgeous gift card giver. Is that a word? <laughs> okay, so you just slide this off then. The recipient would slide that off. They'd open it up. You can write in there. You have it decorated. If you've got that envelope punch board, this is so awesome. If you have any questions about what I've done here today, don't hesitate to contact me, Chris at mystamplady.com. And thanks for watching.